And finally, let's talk about some unit operations. It's a basic process step in a chemical engineering process. The unit operation involves almost always physical change or chemical transformation. If you don't have none of these, you are not having a unit operation. So always remember physical or chemical change. Example, separation is physical, crystallization is physical, evaporation is physical, filtration is physical, polymerization is chemical, isomerization is chemical, and other reactions, obviously it's chemical. From my T Wikipedia. Now, let's see some unit operations. I put them here in red. You can see the ones about reactor engineering, which is actually just a reactor. Anything that reacts, you can call a reactor, so that's why. Now let's see the heat operation units. What do you can use for heat transfer? You can either condense, evaporate, or simply exchange heat. This is more like to increase or decrease temperature. This is to change liquid to gas, and this one is to change gas to liquid. You could also have a freezer, etc. Now let's continue with the mass operations, which is the most large section here. And we have crystallizer, filter, cyclone, any separator, any mixer, a distillation column, absorption, which is not the same as absorption. Okay, just remember that. Abs and ab is a totally different stuff, so take care. And finally, we see some operation unit operation of momentum which are in, in general pumps compressors and maybe a storage tank so just keep those in mind and you will get the idea of what unit operation we are talking about in mass balance we're going to see a lot of unit operation so don't worry just if you have doubt just check what the unit operation is like if i tell you um, it's a dryer and you don't know what's a dryer or how does a dryer operate, just check. Have an example. How do you see this in I don't know in the school, in the books? Very nice, you can see actually everything. And the problem is when you get to the real life, you don't see that much. You only see outside some tubes here, maybe inlets, but you don't know like where all this here and here is the same here. You'll see the column for head and bottom. And you will see also here the in real life. You'll see a lot, but here you don't see that much. But there are many, many stuff here. Actually, there, there's some escalators for men. Mm, heat exchange. Oh, sorry. Last one was distillation column, which is mass transfer. Heat exchange will be simply a tube heat exchanger, which is many tubes go here, you will see that in mass and energy, no, in heat transfer class, you will see it, but the idea is that it goes fluid like this, and the other fluid goes through the tubes, they don't touch physically, one goes inside the tube, and the other one goes outside the tube, so they are touching each other here. The real life, well, this one is very nice. We can you can actually see the tubes, but the real one life, you will see only like a, this huge pipe. You will see like a, I thought it was a pipe, not a heat exchanger, and a centrifugal pump, which is the momentum one. Okay, diagram picture, you will see simply this or even something like this, but in real life, you will see like there's a motor here and. Just the inlet, then it goes out. 